bit wet, but you don't want to get the circuits wet while you're wearing it. So, you know, it's like uh, if it gets wet, it's uh, plastic coated. Cool. So, yeah, it's protected. And the, also the um, voltage that goes through it is very, very low. So it's, um, you know, okay. Uh, you know, basically, it's, you don't have to worry about getting shocked by it. You can get shocked, but it's just very small shock. It's not dangerous. So, yeah. Um, this is the seam. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you can look at the whole thing later. Um, I want to walk this around and show you guys the seam. Um, so I have the wire uh, coming through. Um, so this is the inside of the dress. Uh, where you can see the wires are coming through and going to the power supply. On the outside, I recommend, you know, when you dr when you design it, think about it, make sure that the wire is going to go in through a seam on the dress where it's going to look natural. Um, if you cut a hole in the dress to put the wire through, it'll end up being awkward. You'll have to sew around it like a buttonhole or, you know, something like that. But um, if you put it on a seam, it's sort of a natural place for there to be an edge. So I recommend doing something like that. There's the theme. Over there. Artfuture.com. You see links off the style feature and then the YouTube channel. So then um, yeah, I tape it down and then stitch it just very loosely. It should have some play. Yeah, if you do it too tightly, it could like bend or something. You want to make sure that it has room to move around when you move. Yeah. A L E X. Yeah. See, they're very far apart. You can come up and take a look at the dress too. Yeah. So anyway, these are the seams. Um, and uh, I want to explain also a little bit about sort of the history of the dress. I started out, oh yeah, totally, since so this is a seam. Um, so when you, you know, this is what it looks like on the inside, and then that's what it looks like on the outside. Oh, so you've done both sides. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, you know, it's going in there, and then it comes out on the inside there. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, the seam is just a natural place to let the wire come through. Um, and this, uh, basically this project came about because uh, I was working with neon a lot and I really liked working with neon um, I liked making things that were a little bit more unconventional. Um, so I did things like this, these um, neon and glass work. These are jellyfish that hang from the ceiling. Uh, I also did uh, an armchair out of neon. It's a plexiglass shell that has neon on the inside. And uh, yeah, totally, I love neon, totally. It's wonderful, it's beautiful, um, but you know, you can't put it on a dress necessarily. Uh, it's something that's hard and uh, breakable, so you definitely don't want to wear it. It's got to sit still, it's got to be protected, it's got to be somewhere, you know, kind of specific. Um, and so, next best. Uh, you know, next best thing to it is the EL wire, uh, which I love. I'm also working on ways of, you know, getting the EL wire to look a little bit more like neon because it has, uh, you know, sort of a different look to it. It's kind of got this really, really super bright, almost eye-burning look. Um, and uh, so I'm working with uh, plastic tubing and beadwork. Um, this is another project that I am working on right now. And this one is actually a little bit brighter. You can see it a little bit better. Um, so I want to walk this around so you can see what it looks like too. Uh, the different uh, colors have different brightnesses. The blue is, a, is the brightest one, so you can see that a little bit better in this room. Um, and anyway, to get that uh, you know kind of diffused look for this one, I put it in a plastic tube, and I've done a beadwork mesh around the outside of it so that it kind of diffuses the light. And uh, also, if you see it in the dark, um, these beads really light up. The you know the light kind of refracts through the whole thing, and uh, it ends up giving it a little bit more detailed look, a little bit more diffused look. So it looks a little bit more like actual neon. Uh, a little bit less like that kind of really super bright, um, you know, thin lines that you get from the EL wire. Yeah. Yeah, all right, this has sort of an enchanted jewel look. Totally. Uh, yeah, the focus of my artwork is kind of working with enchanted objects. So I try to get things 